We're out here uh, trying out a new gym today. It's gonna be fun. It's always good. You got new atmosphere, new energy. It's nice and bright, tons of turf. See how it goes. Woo! That's gonna be ours, baby. So how are we feeling today, pal? Feeling good. Feeling yeah? good. Nice. Dare I say I feel great. My oh. goal is to take Kyle and um, Liam's soul. Well, they're down here arguing about who's stronger, you know? I'm going to be lifting 100 pounds more than both of them. So, at the end of the day, competition fuels energy. Even me, you know, knowing other people are in this. My main goal is to be stronger than I've ever been with myself. But more than anything, too, I think it's fun to set these other goals, these extreme goals. 100 pounds more on all the lifts is not easy by any means. I'm going to have to hustle for it, but I truly believe I can do it. At the end of the day, I have a quote. Ready, Kyle? Yeah, what is it? If you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect other people to believe in Jeez. you? Jeez. Colossus Fitness, baby. You doing pause squats? Just a little warm up, challenge myself because we're going a little bit higher, baby. Good, speed, easy. Up, oh, nice. Coach Josh, as you guys can see, I just had that set. He said I need to attack it more. He said, watch the video. There's two things that's really good when you're lifting, is having someone to hold you accountable, tell you exactly what you need to do, how to do it, and also having video footage so you can look back, study it, see how the bar moved, how fast you were. Let's get it. That's it. Let's go. Oh, oh. That's two different lifts. Yeah, see that's a big difference. Wasn't pretty, but so we kind of got to grind through it. A few things are hurting, a few things are sore. Kyle's getting there too. I think when you peak it up, especially for us, I think it's been about 12 weeks, then we have our meet. Near the end, you should be a little overextended. I always remember, like, it's a balance too, and we've got better with it. But my first time powerlifting, I, um, the time my meet, I lifted 614. I went to the gym on my, like, the six days for competing. And I was doing my singles, and I think I was trying to hit 535, and I could not do it. I'm like, I can't lift this. Like, what is wrong with me? Like, this should be light. And of course I rested, I peaked, 6.15 in the bag. So it's all about pushing yourself on that pendulum. You know, just before you tip over, really extending your clothes, it's called max coverable volume. You know, grinding, not my prettiest, but I'm still trying to make it impactful. I'm trying to still be speedy, work for him. Things are hurting, you know? Staying strong when I'm weak, when I feel strong, I'll be strong. There you go, come on, fast. Fast, 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 there you go. Holy, that's a difference. 505 on the bar. Easy, wow. Oh my gosh. Let's go, come on. Let's go. Looks like the boys found their openers. <laughs> Two. Let's go. Up. 
That's like no leg drive, boys and girls. Once I get like a proper bench that's like the right height, I can use more of my legs to move even quicker. Come on. Let's go. Doesn't matter. Push, push, push. There it is. See, that makes 275 me I've ever done. I want 300, baby. Where are we at right now, bro? Facility fitness, man. That's what it is. My boy Paul, facility fit, man. That's how we do it. Peace, love, fitness. and happiness, bro. Peace and love always. always this guy's a beast. Bro. Awesome. Yeah, this gym is sick, awesome. man. Awesome. We're digging awesome. it. This guy's a That's beauty. What, it's all about. what up, everyone? Day two. Uh, Southern Kyle feeling pretty good. Obviously, near the end, you're getting a little extended, you know? Gotta get there, shave the beard, and now it's gonna be a big pivot. Like yesterday, I got a beard, whatever. I had this stupid zit. I couldn't shave, really dumb, whatever. Uh, we're chilling though. Uh, so, we're gonna get some deadlifts in today. Hopefully, our numbers work out right. I'm gonna play with some things, gonna make some modifications. Uh, we have our set rep scheme, but we've been kind of doing intelligent alterations. On the screen right now, you can kind of see an RPE chart. So, normally, you know, we have our volume programmed at, you know, 5x3 or 2x4, whatever it is, at a certain RPE. I'm kind of modifying that to get a little more to singles and doubles because we're technically a week behind in training with how this block worked out because we kind of wedged into it. Uh, so we're being really smart about it, but right now when you know powerlifting in general, you really start the volume phase, you acclimate that volume, you get as strong as you can, push volume, 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 right? Then you kind of back off, you taper, then you start to introduce some heavier loads with that heavier volume. You know, you're gonna get more fives, more threes. Once again, to taper down a bit, and that last block is all about coming down on those triples, those singles, keeping some of that active volume, but really getting you prepared to peak. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if I'm hitting AMRAPs for eight, 10, four, six, whatever it is, on this one day I need to put up. I got three tries for squat, three tries for bench, three tries for deadlift, they all need to count, so I'm prepping myself for that. What's important is fundamental, especially for me, I'm really focusing on form bracing, quality of the rep, right? Like, even if it's not the fastest, I want it to be very smooth, very controlled, so I can bring that into my PRs that are coming up. You know, this isn't when I'm hitting PRs, this is when I'm at the top of that peak. You know, I kind of come down. Next week, we're gonna talk about peaking, kind of what we do there, and we'll be fully ready, pull some big numbers. Oh, he's rowing it. I thought he was with the deadlift. It's three plates. Three by three. Wow. That's insane. Power row. It's not clean. Where we're at, man. You wanna be on? So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that footage. Now we're gonna end with three common mistakes, especially if you're strength training and overall powerlifting. So when we first start training, a lot of times we're so used to the beginner gains. Every single week we're adding on five or 10 pounds. But the biggest issue I see, especially as you kind of go into five to 10 years of training, a lot of people expect to constantly be getting better and better and better every single week. So Josh has mentioned this a lot. One of the most important things is having a properly periodized training routine. Tra training routine, sorry. Imagine if every single week we 
we were doing deadlifts and we put five pounds on, I'd be over 250 pounds within a year. And a lot of times, people can't even do 250 pounds. So you have to make sure that everything is properly peaked, everything is properly programmed. If you want an online coach, we can definitely do that for you. But this is number one. This is how a lot of people get injured, is just trying to constantly go up, 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 until they do bad form and get injured. So number two is just not doing hypertrophy. So hypertrophy and everything is to feed into these big three when you're a power lifter, right? It's very easy to be like, man, those squats are hard, that's my whole workout. I've been here an hour, I'm done. At the end of the day, you gotta push stuff, you gotta keep that rhythm. Sometimes with squats too, because they're so tough, deadlifts, I like to set timers, hold myself accountable. It's like, do I need six minutes? Probably not, you know? Like, get yourself mentally where you need to be. Get that done, so you can actually do your hypertrophy to feed into. You saw me doing some heavy rows. Obviously, you back off the hypertrophy as you get closer to the meat, but earlier on, you know, we're still doing a pretty solid power building regimen. Here though, as things get heavier and more intense, we do need probably like three, four minutes. Uh, we're backing away from that a bit, but don't neglect the hypertrophy. You know, it's gonna feed into it. Your bench has issues with the lockout. You gotta hit those triceps, you gotta get them working. If you're still off the ground, you know, you're gonna have to do some extra movements for that. Like, there's a lot of things that will feed into those lifts, so don't neglect them, do your hypertrophy. And last but not least, I'd argue this is the most important one, is not actually listen to your body. Just because we have a properly programmed routine, there was probably about three to four times within this 12 to 16 week cycle that I had to say, and Josh had to say like, okay listen, we need to back off this. If we continue to push forward here, we could get injured. And especially for me, my deadlift form could use a lot of work, so there was some times for AMRAPs that going for that AMRAP could have been the worst decision of my life, and I could not be competing potentially in the next week or so because of that. So. You know, just because you have everything properly programmed, you know, the last episode we talked a lot about mindset, which is absolutely huge, and I firmly believe in it. There are some times where it's honestly smarter to take an extra rest day, to take a step back, to skip an AMRAP, to decrease the weight a little bit, but thank you so much for listening. Honestly, we appreciate every single one of you. This is episode nine. Next week is the meet. I'm excited. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna destroy Liam. Josh is gonna put some big PRs. My buddy Mike, my one of my clients, is gonna be competing, hitting some big numbers. We appreciate you all so much. Peace out. Bro, shout out to us. We yeah, actually finished we the series. It. We finished the series. It's been a while, bro. <laughs> we don't always finish it, and uh, you know it's been fun. It's definitely a lot of work, just like putting these together and staying consistent with it. But you know we do it for you. 100K. So YouTube. please yeah. smash like, man. Smash like. You know like this. It, like we it. didn't get a ton of views from this, but it was fun documenting. Yeah. Thank you everyone who watched. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna see you in the next one. Follow us on Instagram at Colossus Fit if you want to see all our peaking, all of our stuff leading up to Saturday. Mm -hmm. Blow your kiss, bro. Peace.